welcome to part number two of Gran Turismo 5 A-Spec. This is the Moving Chicane, and today we're doing the A-License. So, next set of exams, here they are, and now we have a 400 meter challenge at Top Gear with an Audi TTS Coupe. Alright, so 400 meters this time, that's right, no adjustments can be made to the car. Gotta use really shitty tires for whatever reason. And here we go. Ooh, perfect timing. Alright, we're on attempt number six, so... Yeah, now this is taking more attempts than the bits. go got a gold nice only six attempts i'm not looking forward to ib1 i know we're gonna get there in this damn stream i have a feeling we're gonna get there today yay level five and yeah me too ender i mean i can't really say that i'm the like, biggest fan of battle royales and i can't say that apex legends is like a super amazing game but it's fun it's funner than fortnite i mean you don't have to build shit, which I, I hated that about Fortnite. I hate building stuff in Fortnite. It's just... For me, it's so pointless. Uh, 12... It's it's noon. So yeah, um, 8-2. Approaching a blind corner at Rome, which is going to be turns 1, 2, and 3. Alright, second attempt. The understeer kills you here. Okay, I might have just enough to get the gold. Do a better entry into this corner. Yeah, much tighter line. Using up all the inches of the road like Takumi does on the mountain passes, and we get the gold. Not bad. Yeah, Mender, really? They're that desperate, huh? They lost that many players? Honestly, good. I can't stand Fortnite. And you know what I can't stand either? Cone slaloms. That's what A3 is all about. And here's the thing. The slaloms in this game are fucking terrible. Because you can't even see the goddamn cones that well. That's why you can't do anything here. Here we go. Actually, this slalom isn't that bad. It's the Toyota GT86 one, or FT86 um, slalom that's terrible in this game. That's gotta be a gold. Yes, it is. Cool. Do you even slalom? The Passenger and Tourist Trophy? What the fuck? Okay, I've actually never played Tourist Trophy, so that's one that I gotta see and try. So let me save that replay. And moving on to A4. I don't know, there's a lot of games that I really just can't stand that people play all the time. Fortnite's one. Call of Duty is another. In some exceptions, the only person I like to watch Call of Duty streams from is the real Emil. But that's because the real Emil is the real Emil. He makes them entertaining. Uh, Minecraft, I can't stand. That's really about it. Why would you send it to me, bro? Alright, second attempt. Missed it by only about a tenth of a second, so let's try this again. Mm 
Okay, I, I hit the brakes much later this time. And I abuse the fuck out of the track limits. And there we go, easy gold. I know, right, Mikhail? The only people that can run at Monza Gold is people who have A plus like uh, A plus DRs or SS DRs and SRs. Yay, we're level six. We're moving on to A5, which is taking or tackling continuous urban right angled corners at London. S plus is that even a thing in GD Sport? Oh shit, we're driving a Lotus Evora. I thought we were gonna drive a Pojo, but that's G6 actually at London. All right, I'm gonna oversteer like crazy in these really slow and tight corners. Oh no, yeah, you're messing with me. All right, trying this for the second time. I slapped that inside wall in the previous attempt. I slammed on the brakes too late. Nice and tight cornering. Use all the rumble strips that you can. Get a good exit. A little tap to the wall and gold medal. Yeah, dude, Monza is just a clusterfuck no matter where you go. Hell, even in iRacing, Monza is a clusterfuck. I was watching one of my buddies play. Um, he was streaming iRacing, the GT3 races at Monza. And dude, even there, turn one is still a disaster. You know, it's not a disaster, Trial Mountain, because it's a pretty good circuit to race on. And we're doing A6, mastering a set of undulating corners. I think we use the Atenza for this, if I remember correctly. Okay, far from the Atenza. The Yunos Roadster, aka the MX-5, aka the MX-5 Miata. Wherever the hell you are in the world. Whatever the hell you guys want to call it. The NA, there you go. Only at the manufacturers you don't have problems at Monza? Lucky. Alright, first attempt. You guys remember the Gran Turismo 3 exam here? And the Super License with the MX-5? Oof, man, that was really tough because... You know, Mazdas are... Heavily, you know, focused on momentum. These cars especially. Like, these cars in general are heavily focused on momentum. And if you lose just a tiny bit of speed then your whole entire life is ruined. And we kept the momentum up, as you saw, and got the gold on the first attempt. Actually, I already saved the replay for Slalom, so we'll keep that. I just remember that right now. Driving a mountainous dirt track. Now, I do have to say, I think these rally exams are pretty easy in GT5. Because we're not racing at Grand Canyon in GT4. I hate Grand Canyon, so I'll race at Niger or Wand any day of the week. I don't necessarily hate Grand Canyon as in like a, it's a shitty track. I hate it because I'm so bad at it. But yeah, this exam is going to be pretty easy. Anything plus four so seven, yeah. Monza plus four so seven equals disaster, CK. Ah! Oh, thanks for the cash, chump! <laughs> Thank you so much for the dollar donation, Ender. Distraction. Damn you with your distractions. I think I might have shifted a little bit too early. Then again, you don't get any speed up the hill driving a freaking FF. And then we go downhill here, and we just get a bunch of speed. Give that wall a big old kiss, and there we go. He's on the flight TCS adjustment. You actually can't. You're about to say, what the fuck was that? Are you talking about the um, donation alert? So if you guys don't know, that's actually from Need for Speed Underground 2, where if you lose... The very first outrun race in stage zero, that girl tells you that. She's like, ha, thanks for the cash, chump. And she's like, wait till Rachel sees what you're doing with her ride, loser, or some shit like that. If that wall broke, equals goodbye car. Yeah, not in this game. But hey, at Nurburgring, we're going to take on the Schumacher S. With a BMW Concept 1, I believe this is what it's called. 
Yep, Concept 1 series. 2007. Okay, well, I'm actually not an expert when it comes to um, the Nerf GP circuit, so I wouldn't really know. Anyways, fourth attempt. Plus, have you been there? You're from Germany, aren't you, Ender? Took a much tighter line into the beginning of the S's, so we should get the gold. Boom. Got it this time. Forgot he's cast here. Yeah, they really can't. I don't like Bugattis too much. I'm just like meh about them. I mean, they're nice cars and they go fast. You know, vroom vroom car, but at the same time, it's just like... I don't know. I, I like cars that have overall performance. Same way I don't really like American, modern American cars too much for that same reason. With the exception of like the Corvette and the Viper and some other stuff like that that have a bit of performance to them. But yeah. Being about performance. This is the car that does not really have any. Citroen C4. We're going to be driving this good old box. For another Fuji Speedway passing exam. This time we're going to break into turn one. By the way, what's up GTSV? EMC is a vroom vroom car. Yep. You guys ever seen the Eric Andre show? Uh, the Eric Andre show? And I think he takes like a beat. I think he takes a car to like a. I don't remember if he takes a car to a dealership or something, and like he's, you know, he smashes like the car up, and then like he actually starts like drinking from a freaking jerry can. He's like, I'm a car too. And he's like drink, pretending to drink gasoline. <laughs> That's what I just thought about when you were like, yes, yeah, so he has a vroom vroom car. Hey, Bob, Nader. Good. How are you? Late braking technique. Super easy. Gotta get a good exit. Yep, got it done. Woo! Easy. Turn your channel name? Ah, I didn't even notice. I mean, GTSB is catchy in my opinion. This is so, this show is beyond human comprehension. Yeah, clearly. Gotta have 10,000 IQ to watch my channel, guys. Sorry to people who aren't part of Mensa. Anyways, A10. Another one lap battle, this time at high speed ring. And we're gonna be using a Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution X. DSRX. Evo 10. Jesus Christ, I'm, I'm not on top of my game today. Then again, when am I ever? We're going full Emperor now, boys. Except uh, this car came out like, I don't know, fucking seven years after the second stage of Initial D. <laughs> Put tinfoil hat before watching my stream, yeah. Yeah, Medic, really? Dude. Amazing. Oh, the, this show. Oh, you meant the Eric Andre show. <laughs> Dude, I love the Eric Andre show. It makes me laugh so freaking hard every time I watch it. White Evo? There's an Evo 4 that's premium. I could probably make it white. But if I find an like, Evo 3 in the UCD or something, I have to make that one black. As much as I hate the guys from Emperor, I actually really like the cars a lot. Maybe I just don't like the guy. I don't remember his name because I just watched Stage 2. I'm really bad at remembering, like, Japanese names and stuff. But, um, the guy who drives the White Evil 4, I'm just like, eh, that guy's an ass. Really? This car uses paddles? I'm actually surprised. I thought this thing used um, an H pattern. I'm just muscling my way to the front. Got two more cars to pass. And I'll do it in the final corner. Oh shit. Carrying too much speed, had to do an outside pass. I white and handsome. There we go. Jesus Christ, YouTube censoring comments. 
Seriously, I don't even have like a freaking curse sensor or anything. It's YouTube that does that. I don't know why the heck YouTube wants to flip and censor bad words. Hey, Rishi, what's up, man? It's coast across the line because I didn't hear any engine sounds. Yay. Yours are so loud. Yeah, clearly. Anyways, that is the A license complete. Only took us about 22 minutes in, in total of recording time. Not counting out whatever I edit out because of the fact that I failed some of the exams. Congratulations! You have effectively passed your A license tests. Now enter the appropriate races and raise your driving level. Next up, the International C license tests. Are you up for the challenge? Thank you, Not Tom. All right, so let's go take a look at the prize cards. Oh, oh, thanks for... for the cash, chump! Thanks, Hender, for another dollar donation. It says American Chicane destroying innocent and unsuspecting license tests. And by destroying those license tests, we win an MMR Cup card. Nice. A Mazda attends a concept. Please be yellow. And a Nazuzu 4200R concept from 1989. Oh, really? It won't show anything if you use customers? Yeah, YouTube is being. Yes, it's yellow. Yes. I'm so happy it's yellow because I actually really like it in yellow. I started streaming nine minutes ago. Yeah, clearly. In nine minutes, I was able to do both exams. That's that's how much of a god I am. See. Anyways, Nissan MMR Cup car. I don't remember what cup. I don't remember what number it is in red. Number fifteen. Ooh, okay. I wish there was a one make race for this thing in this game. But there isn't. American shooting time traveler. So, this chicane is not human. Here it is, the Nissan MMR Cup car. And, yeah, that thing is a beauty. Alright, next car on the list is the Mazda Atenza Concept, a.k.a. the Mazda 6. Oh my god, Mikhail, please don't. I will get destroyed, dude. So Marvin was streaming some uh, GT Sport online race the other day at Le Mans in the Group 1 cars. And, dude, Igor Fraga was in that same race that he was. And, dude, Igor Fraga just destroyed everybody after starting, like, 16th or 20th or whatever. He just completely decimated the whole field. I am a sensitive piece of a track. TMC. Yep. Yes, you heard me call the micro a beauty, because it's a race car. It's a race car, Wolf. Little race car. I actually like those race cars. And I like the Atenza concept. That thing is pretty cool. I actually would not mind I would not mind owning a Mazda 6 or a Tenza in real life. Anyways, here's the next prize. The Zuzu 4200R concept. This weird looking thing. Just qualify ahead of Fraga. Yeah, that worked for everybody else, right? <laughs> Do you have a point, Mikhail? Anyways, so here it is. The Isuzu 4200, 4200R concept. I have no idea if we're going to use this thing at all. Maybe, maybe not. We'll find out. But anyways, guys, that is it for the A license. So next time on Gran Turismo 5 A-Spec, we're going to do the International C license. That makes a comeback from GT2.